And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick your tees and or other items. I keep on saying tees, but like, I forget we have like hoodies, stickers, right. iPhone cases. Mm. Uh, anyways, yeah, pick them up at zenroclothingco.com and use the code SG Podcast for 20% off select items. Okay, so this is a... It's kind of delayed, I guess, because um, this series came out a month ago. Yeah, December, yeah. Yeah, December. So it's more than a month. It's February now. Well, from when it was released, I guess it was like... Well, yeah, it is February. Never mind. Yeah. So it was uh, So it was a little delayed, but I finally got through the full series. I'm not a binge champ like uh, Vish over here who finished the series pretty fast, but... We're doing a Witcher review. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, just like all reviews, we'll score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we sweat our opinion. Fish, you go first. What's your score? Um, uh, if I can remember at the time when I did uh, watch it, I did really like it. Uh, you know, maybe uh, I don't know, seven point five. Wow. Maybe. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you're a big fan of it, so I was like, okay, like I'm, I'm assuming like an eight or a nine. I was thinking that, but I don't know. Like I can't, you know. I guess it, you know, after some time of settling in, like, but I still like it. I don't, I don't. Is can it be better? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are probably, like, I can't remember the things, but like, there's probably things like you know, uh, it's it's a Netflix thing. It's a show, right? It's not like a movie, so it's like the budget isn't there, but like something. So there's like missing part. Yeah, totally. Like yeah. Graphics you could definitely see. Yeah. We'll get into that. So um, my score, I was, I'm in the beginning. I gave it a four. Mm-hmm. I didn't finish episode one, and then I was like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna like give it some time. But by the end of it, I'm giving it an eight. Oh, so it's an eight. That's why I was shocked when you said seven point five because I was like, okay, I'm giving it an eight. So <laughs> when you said seven point five, I'm like, wow, how did I score that higher than you? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving. You're being like very, uh, very uh, pragmatic or yeah. sparse with your uh, your points there. Maybe. All right. So, so you brought up the Netflix thing, mm-hmm. uh, it having a budget. Yeah. So I guess like yeah, it's not like an HBO because HBO spends like millions and millions of dollars per episode, like Game of Thrones for example. Like the the quality for HBO uh, shows, I was gonna say movies, but their shows are like there. Yeah, you know, like. But I feel like Netflix is entering the ring. Yeah, you know, it's starting to like put out um, movies. I mean, that? this is kind of a show that requires a bigger budget, like. But I feel like you can. Well, I mean, you did have like a a list actor there in Henry Cavill. That was shocking. Well, he wanted that role. So, like, the thing with Henry Cavill is he plays the game. Mm, okay. And he was like pushing for wanting that role. Oh, that's so fascinating. Yeah. So. Oh, that's so fascinating. So it's like because I was like, how did they get Henry Cavill? Damn, bro. But he was the one like when he found out that they were wanting to make one he was trying to get in there he's like please let it be me that's cool because like the passion's there you know he'll like like being the guy yeah yeah i think he's played this game that i'm playing right now uh if you're watching on youtube um he's a gamer yeah he played the witcher huh didn't know that well i mean like you did allude to it but i mean to to play witcher yeah 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 (laughs) yeah. like even an RPG I type of thing. Yeah, even I didn't play Witcher. Yeah. I like played a little bit of them. Like, well, this is gonna time suck me, bro. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Right. Yeah. But yeah. So, so yeah. So he he's alongside a bunch of actors that aren't like big celebrities. Yeah. yeah. No, a lot of them are looks like they're from Europe, but like, yeah. Mm, true. Yeah. I think that's where they do they film out there. I guess they do. Or... Maybe I'm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so even in the beginning, so the reason why I gave it a four in the beginning is like mm-hmm. you can tell that there is definitely some quality issues there, like the yeah. initial monster. I was like, eh, and mm-hmm. then the mm-hmm. um, his like when he goes into like his demon mode, I was like, eh, it's kind of like weirdly fake as well. Like the the graphics aren't there; they don't have the money for the graphics, I guess. Yeah, yeah. so that's understandable. The costumes for me were kind of like. They're a little corny. Mm-hmm. The fight scenes were okay, right? But the reason why I'm giving so like I'm like really being super negative on it. <laughs> but the thing that got me and why I'm giving it an eight is it felt like an RPG. 
Oh, so, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when I first started, I was like, I don't get it. I don't get what these characters are. I had little hope for the actual storyline. But then as it progressed, I'm like, oh, I understand how the game works now through this through mm-hmm. the show. Because mm-hmm. I didn't even get the, I didn't even understand the whole Witcher game. Like, like so there's a random guy. Is there a main story? But there's so many sub stories. So you're kind of like, what is this game about? Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there is a general story, but like, you, this game takes what hundreds of hours to beat yeah right mm-hmm. and it's like because there's so many side missions and you're like well why would there be so many side missions and you find out that the witcher is like a mercenary yeah so it's basically his job yeah it's his job yeah so and then yeah. through watching the show it made me want to play the game which incidentally we saw the spike increase right oh yeah yeah, yeah. The, the the number of people playing the game was bit, like it became i think number one on twitch or something like that like it was up there yeah, totally. Yeah, makes sense though because like, after watching the show, even I wanted to play the game because mm. I was like, "Oh wow, you're really just like living these like short episode lives." But then there's like a general narrative that's going on. Like, all right, so basically the show is about him. Spoiler alert! It's about him trying to find um, what's her name, Siri. Yeah, but in that, there's all these like side stories, like him and Yennefer, and like. Uh, him like trying to make money yeah you know yeah so basically is that what a witcher is a witcher is a mercenary yeah essentially yeah but yeah. then why but they're, generally they're to kill like their job is to kill monsters right right and then remember in the ending of the show he's like uh only three out of ten boys survive the trials mm-hmm. so i'm like why did they have to make it so intense like like they they they're governed by not like a king or anything they're just mercs yeah but they you know is it like the the brotherhood is so intense or like how does that work yeah i think it's just the training is that way that uh i i I, like where do they get the white hair right where does that i'm not sure all of them have white hair oh true i didn't even think about that yeah so uh i think that's true uh and then like like vesemir yeah 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 yeah. so that's why it's like uh i think i think the second season is because it alluded to that his childhood mm-hmm. in this one and i don't know much about his childhood at all um, so it's, it's gonna go into that you think i think it'll go into that yeah i think they'll introduce it that way where he then becomes trained by vesemir and oh, okay they're gonna show his like maybe he's then gonna train her or i don't know if vesemir will be i think they'll be adding vesemir into this well they have to but yeah because they're looking saying at, uh, so like vesemir is uh the witcher's trainer yeah yeah yeah, the great Geralt's trainer, yeah. Not necessarily and, all witchers. And that was interesting that he was saying, like, Geralt's not even his real name. Mm-hmm. He was given that by Vesemir. Yeah. So there's so many, like, there's so much depth to this show, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it comes from the books. Right, right. Okay. So when it comes from the books, and what they were focusing on in the show, I believe, were, like, uh, like there were just uh, mentions in this in the short stories, like, uh they weren't like that explained so they wanted to focus more of it in in the show and it's like kind okay, of flourish yeah. it more like may like the back like they knew of yennefer's backstory and how she used to look like so that they focused on that and then like how right, they right, right, right. so they didn't show all that it's like it's like a very giant world yeah you know when you when you get invested in um in the witcher it's like there's so much Mm, what do you call it like lore so much like yeah stories that you can like read about mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. find out you know right that that's see that's what it got me it felt like i was in a world mm-hmm. yeah know? yeah midway through like i had to get to like episode three or something mm-hmm. but by then i was like i was really into it and like i i, I became invested right. to find out more right except for that one episode <laughs> when they got into like the love story between yennefer and Gerald, yeah i wasn't into that that was so corny <laughs> okay and i was i almost turned it off and then you assured me that it would be better yeah so then i kept watching and it like yeah it ended off strong so right that was the only thing that one episode i i, just, I personally don't like um, that like corny love story stuff mm. but it reminded me of like assassin's creed um the pirate one have you played the pirate one uh i think i watched you play it was like the first open world one and so right 
I just really like those open world video games because it's sort of like you're mm-hmm. you're being thrust into this um, reality, right? That's like if if I had VR goggles, mm-hmm. I'd actually be in like a a new world. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. even, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. escapism is there. Yeah, the option for escapism, and I felt like the show really presented that escapism well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know. Okay. It, yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah, feel, it it did. didn't feel yeah. like it didn't feel like it was half heartedly done. It felt like everything was meaningful. Yeah. I think it, it does bring you into the world. Uh it kind of explains like what's in, in this world. Wait, quick pause. Yeah. I just noticed that um because you're playing the video game, yeah. Siri and Gerald have the exact same scars. Mm-hmm. Same two scars, one over the head and one over the eye. What does that allude to? I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, continue, Mitch. Uh, so, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember now. <laughs> uh, the the fleshed out worlds were in. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of like uh, you learn more about the world with the way they built it. Like each episode was something different. Okay. Yeah. And then you, uh, they focus more on that character. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, and then build the the story around. You, you got to know about like how the the mages, like their reality, yeah, yeah, a witcher's reality. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So like, there's so much, there's so much depth here that mm-hmm. you can access, right? That that's why I like yeah. the show. Yeah, you know, um, I tr- in comparison to like Mandalorian, let's say, I couldn't mm-hmm. even finish the last two episodes. Like, <laughs> it just got so corny. At least Witcher had like some realism some gore right had the nudity so it was like okay you're, you're being serious you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? like yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't like it wasn't like a cheese fest you know mm-hmm. i don't know like, i like, I like them both I, mean. I like them both yeah. but but i mean in comparison to one or the other which one do you like better well witcher because i do have more of a backing to witcher like right. i don't I like star wars as much as i know i love star wars so yeah, that's why yeah. i was excited for it right yeah. so like, like I, I don't as much like I'm not something that's crazy but, about Star Wars, but, but I objectively speaking, yeah. I was turned off by yeah. um, the Mandalorian, right? Because it was so corny, right? You uh, know? Yeah. Especially you're a mercenary, bro. So like a Witcher and a Mandalorian are both mercenaries, and mm-hmm. one is just super cheesy, and one is like badass, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Right? You know, like right. Geralt's badass. I think uh, the thing, um, like with, between all these three characters, the three main ones, which are Yennefer, Geralt, and Ciri, mm-hmm. they all come from a troubled past. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah sure, that's sure. what makes them all connect. So I, the thing I liked about this show is like the the twists. I, lo- I love yeah. shows that give you a bait and twist. Mm-hmm. Uh, bait and switch, sorry. So like you, you thought in the beginning that it was all one linear timeline. Then you find out like, no, they're actual th- intersecting yeah. timelines. That was yeah. amazing. So that's what I liked about that. Yeah. Um... I kind of thought that too, but I just didn't know where exactly in the timeline it was. Right. Um, but I did like that aspect where by the end, you, it's now you've come to the same timeline. Yeah, that's really cool. Right. And they all like intersect. And then yeah. they had those scenes that like in the first episode, I think it was the first episode, right? Mm-hmm. Where they were playing the game. The kid? Yeah. Yeah. And then in the second last episode, those merged together, and it was like, yeah. oh, yeah. and that's why she so Witcher, looked over in that yeah, corner because yeah. yeah. she could feel. Yeah. So Witcher was there when they attacked the castle, right, and stuff, and she was there, but then you know, yeah, she didn't know what was going on. And then I like how they left the series on a cliffhanger, where it's like they finally met up, like they hadn't <laughs> seen each other, met each other, they finally met up, and then she asks, "Who's Yennefer?" That's the first, only last question. That's- and then yeah, it that's ends. Awesome. Yeah. I thought that was good. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's the, that's the question she asks. Yeah, it's, right? it's funny. Like, no, no, but it's cool too because it's like, yeah. okay, no, 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 yeah. the paths are intersecting. Yeah, I know, I know. Exactly. And then they started to bring in Vesemir, so it's like, okay, where where is this all going to go? Mm-hmm. You know, she's still young. Mm-hmm. And you did say the thing about the white hair because now I'm looking at um, Siri. In the show, she had blonde hair and Geralt as a kid had black hair, yeah. but they all have white hair now. Yeah. Know? It's fascinating. Mm-hmm. So there's still lots more to learn about that world. Yeah, it's it totally. Feels like. So there's like, well, that feels wait, like it is. There's like the dwarf world that they brought. It, you know what it feels like? It feels like Lord of the Rings, because Lord of the mm-hmm. Rings had so mm-hmm. much. Even though I couldn't finish the third movie, still, <laughs> like even to this day, I haven't watched it because it's so boring. Right. But like, it's sort of like that. It feels like that to me. 
Yeah. Like the J.R.R. Tolkien world where it's like you have the Hobbit series yeah. and then you have like the Lord of the Rings and that's all the same world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it kind of feels a, like that, yeah. right? It's like it's like it's it's a mixture. It's got the Lord of the Rings, but it's also got the Game of Thrones. Totally, the greenness, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yep. the harshness of the world. Yeah, yeah, it does. It right? does. Like even though, uh, it's like yeah, Witcher does all that. Like he he is a merchant and or not merchant. He's like he fights mercenary. mercenary. He fights monsters, but no one also likes him. They don't yeah, want. A, they don't want yeah. him around. And yeah, it's, like... it's fascinating. So like, <laughs> so then you want to find out more. But like, they they introduce like the dwarves, the dragons, the mages, the witchers. Yeah. So like, you think that like, if you play the game or you like first look at it, you're like, okay, so the the um, the witchers are probably like the main characters, right? Mm-hmm, they're the, mm-hmm. the most powerful, the main characters. And you find out no, a witcher is one thing in a series of other things. Yeah. You know. Right. Which I really, I, I really like that mm-hmm. about the the show. It's like different races, or like you know, like white people, Asians, and mm-hmm. all that stuff. You know, like it, it felt like very thoughtful. Right, right. It wasn't like we just brought this thing in here for. I mean, it's, what's interesting is it's it's uh, it's a Polish story, right? It's from Poland, I believe. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I believe the author was Polish. Uh-huh. Or, uh huh. Somewhere around that is area. Is he the next J.R.R. Tolkien? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Witcher's been all around for a long time, right? They've, oh, really? I mean, the game I'm playing is <laughs> number three, so oh, they have one and two out. That was way back long ago. But were they good? Like, uh, I think so. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, at the same time, too, like, I do like the fact that there's so much depth to this. Mm -hmm. The game, the game I'm saying now. Um, Because, like, it takes hundreds of hours to beat. But at the same time, it's, like, very daunting. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like, do I really want to play this game? (laughs) You know? Right. (laughs) (laughs) Let's not do that here. Uh, Options. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, so... (laughs) So that's also in the game. So it's yeah, like... it's very, very real, very raw. But like, if you if you think about it, like, get, like things back then were very raw as well. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, so yeah, I feel like in society now we just keep we keep like adding more and more mm-hmm, mm-hmm. barriers between ourselves and our nature. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the more barriers we place, the more elevated we feel right. as a species. Yeah. You know, but if you go back then, it's like. They had less barriers. There was like less things inhibiting them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that that the show captured that really well. Like di- life and death was so so easy back then. Like mm-hmm, you could just mm-hmm. die for nothing, right, right? You know. But now dying is like such a huge thing in society, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, uh, I did, Netflix was looking for something like a, like a Game of Thrones. I feel okay. like this is their game of thrones this is their game of thrones hopefully i mean like oh like, uh, yeah we don't know i mean it's too it is it, like, oh, man. it is too early to say because you got to see how season two goes and everything totally yeah. um but they're already looking at making like a film anime they say but i don't know that's cool like, or a cartoon or whatever it is well, so like they're really trying to when is the uh second one coming out well they're filming it now or at oh, least no, pre-production no. is happening now oh, awesome that's great uh if you're watching henry cavill's ig stuff yeah okay i gotta follow that guy now yeah uh Keep up with you. and yeah i mean i think they it, like the toss the coin to the like that song oh, became the song. big yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like we were watching listening to it yes, yesterday yeah so it's like uh it's like the game of thrones theme it's like they're trying to make it you know they right. want they yeah, want yeah, this yeah, thing yeah, to they be want to catch on. like a cultural thing yeah I think I might even play this game after I beat Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> okay, this is so long. Okay, I got this game back in at least a few years ago, and I still haven't finished yeah, I still haven't it. Finished it. Yeah, because <laughs> so like daunting, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it is. Oh, there, there's so many other. The, there was time, other bro. games that came out that took up the time, and then I'm coming back to it now. Yeah. Hopefully, I can finish this before PS5 comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but but like it's really the show that brought the interest back you know yeah it's the show yeah because then you're like you you grow an affinity towards the characters Mm -hmm. you know because of the show yeah and i i I liked it because like playing the game i got to know i learned more about the characters and watching them in the show like seeing a bit Mm. more of the story that i didn't hear about before but is it all canon though or no what do you mean like is the show link up with the game uh 
Not no, not no, not necessarily no. Because this is like the show, like the game right now. I'm also looking for Siri. It's like the same thing as the show. But no, but like, but you, like you already I, trained Siri. Yeah, no, no, like it's already done, right? Though that part is done. I don't know what was in Witcher One and Two, the game. Right. Yeah. So I can't. That's why I can't really say how much it is to the show. But I heard that. It, well, when when they were interviewing and stuff, they were saying it's different from the game like where they're focusing on a story that's from in the past mm -hmm. so i don't know like no but it, it, it can be different from the game but is it linked up like can we watch witcher and be like okay that did happen in the past well uh well there isn't anything in the past necessarily here right no no but their relationships right oh the relationships are there yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. so yeah so they're like the, the daniel lion that's the guy that did the song mm -hmm. He's in the game. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, the, the, the characters are all there because it's it's the whole world that he built. It's it's in here, but like I don't like I don't know what happened in one and two, but they're not exactly together in here. Right, right, right. Uh, and but you do come across Danny Lion as I was looking for Siri in the game. We 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 found him and right. asked him about right, it. Right. So like it's like that. So they're they're for yeah. Is this the game? I can't remember because it could have been a while ago. But is this the game where you can? run with your horse from one end of the world to the other or one end of the map to the other yeah like it's so large yeah it's very very large okay like it doesn't oh, i think this is the game where the person did that whole like run through yeah it was like 46 minutes of him like uh, on the horse i think so somebody showed me that a long time ago uh, maybe um, it's a long yeah it's like a very big open world it's yeah. like a real open world yeah yeah, yeah. it's an open world yeah. yeah that's cool so um mm-hmm what did you what you hate about the show? No, I, I mean it was it was the certain graphics here and there that kind of like pull you it. away from the show or pull you away from the world. Mm -hmm. It's just like it. I get it. I mean there there are these budget constraints for these kinds of shows. I guess it is a new thing for Netflix. Maybe there'll be a bigger budget this this season. But think about how much the money season. they make per month. You know, I mean they make like a lot of money. Yeah, but they make so many different shows too. Sure, that is true. That's true. Yeah, so it's like. Uh, I, I think the next one they will have a little bit more of a budget. Like there were like the dragon scenes. Oh, that kind of corny. Yeah, it was like I didn't really feel that. Yeah. Uh, true. I mean that was the same episode that you didn't like. Right. Um, but it's like how much can you really do with that? And totally. like I wanted to see there are other powers that he has in the game that they didn't really show. Right, right, right. In in the in the show maybe because they're just like kind of building up to it. Like mm -hmm. if you throw everything at a at the audience they might get confused or they don't right, understand how right, this works right, right. they yeah. don't get the context yeah yeah, yeah. so well, what what did you like about the show like what was your favorite part i it, it was like just seeing those characters that i was playing the game and seeing them uh in like interact in a different different time a different world well not in a different world but like a different uh like scenario right yeah i agree i agree it's yeah. the fleshed out yeah because it's like oh i know, I know who movie. siri is or it's like or like learning about her actual full name what her full name is Cirilla, yeah, 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 yeah it's totally. like oh and she's she was an actual it's like plot twist she was a siri, princess like oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah and she was a princess and i was like oh okay so like her background and stuff and then you can hop on the game and like go more contemporary uh, yeah more to like the present time yeah yeah because yeah. that was all back then. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then seeing Yennefer, because Yennefer is quite a lot in the game too, mm -hmm. and you do come across her quite a bit. So it's like it's the same but kind of thing. It's just like the show, right? It's like the show, you know, exactly like, like the show. Yeah. You thought they have that connection, but they're they will never be together, kind of thing. And what was that line they said? Like, um, people who are destined together will always find their way, mm -hmm. to something like that. Yeah, yeah. But like they they still have that kind of thing that's in the show, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also they're not together. Like I just can't. They won't be. But then there's like other. So in the game, there's a lot more other love interests that I think they'll go into second season. Oh, there's different love interests for The Witcher. Yeah. No. Really? There's other witches like Tr uh, Triss or someone else. Like he that. loves. He loves them. As well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, oh, he's okay. like a player. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> Something like that. So like, I think those will be involved in the. I'm not sure if they mentioned or showed them here, but like, uh, like they will be mentioned probably coming in the second season and stuff. Other people. Cool. I'm I'm interested to see who they get for um, best of year. Yeah. Is there any hints right now? I think there was, but I can't remember at the moment. There was like when they were starting to do. I, was it him or? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh no! The rumor was the Luke Skywalker guy. 
Oh, really? I don't know. I don't remember that, but I'm not sure if that was a real one, but like, yeah, I remember something like that. Like he, would he be a good Vesemir? Like, I don't know. Oh, um, oh, was it Mark Hamill? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Joker also. He does Joker's voice. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like he's. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm not sure because I think he did tweet something about it, but I wasn't sure. He's like, I would be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. funny. So yeah, I'm interested to see who they, like, Pick where it goes right, next. Yeah. And, like, Me they too, do I have agree. to show, like, Vesemir and stuff like that. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of things. I'm There's pretty... a lot of things to, to find, like, to really go into still. Yeah. Is it is it going to be like years from now, or do you think they're going to come out with a se- season like this year? This year? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to. They they, no they did it very quickly, even season one. So like, even though like I knock it on the graphics, but it's like I might have to change my score. But like they did film it very quickly. Like if you remember, like when they announced it. Yeah, yeah. And they and filmed they it, finished it. filming, and they're like, they're, it's going to be released by the end of the year or end of that year. Right. I was right. like, how is that possible? Right, 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 right. And yes, they did it. <laughs> so. So, yeah, we might we might get to see it soon. Yeah. Which is great. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, not soon in a sense. Like, it will be this year, probably the well, same time. What I really like. And, like, um, end of the year. When, when we were watching... Um, there's a podcast about like Netflix's like business model, mm-hmm. and I think it was Netflix versus Blockbuster. I think that was it was like the Business Wars podcast, and um, basically they weren't sure about the whole like binge watching thing. Yeah, but I really like that they do that. You know. Uh yeah, I mean now now like, when you uh, drop it all at once. Like I didn't like that you had to wait every week for Game of Thrones and then they'd skip a week and you're like, oh my god, bro. I don't think they ever skipped a week, but. Uh... Uh, I, I think there might have been, uh, but there is a reason. There is a um, uh, like a reason for both, because um, with having it coming out really week one week at a time, mm-hmm. that you put quality. Uh, it's not. It's not necessarily the quality. It's also about getting the name out continuously for like what 10 weeks oh true, true, for 10 true, episodes yeah, yeah, yeah. versus like with the with netflix so thing is like done. Yeah, totally, probably totally. it'll last for like two weeks and then people move on to the next thing sure so it it doesn't bring back more people mm-hmm. it just sticks with the same people right like, there yeah i get what you're saying but i think what they're trying what they're doing is also like they're doing these things on netflix youtube page i wonder how much that stuff works but like uh, like we watched recently how they make the stuff so oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah they release like featurettes yeah and like i do DVDs and exactly like yeah and I, I like those sort of things and that kind of like bring you back into like the uh into the show as well like, totally yeah oh yeah like oh i want to see that part again or something like that yeah yeah true 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 mm-hmm. uh yeah I, I like the the one they had out recently with the the fight scene it's very interesting to find out that they act, don't actually use a full sword oh yeah it's a half sword it's yeah, a half sword so fast and it's like how they do it and like and when you watch the video oh, it makes sense because some of those movements don't make sense right in right. a real with the real sword <laughs> right 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 right. i i like too because like they could they can make like the stabbing scenes you know like because if it was a full sword it's like yeah. how are you getting the sword through the body yeah but then they could show it because it's a fake sword like i thought that was cool yeah but like that's uh, I mean, those are C. Uh, those are VFX stuff. You don't even realize that are VFX stuff. Totally, yeah, yeah, for sure. Which are I got to give some points to, right? Yeah, true, true. Because the, you wouldn't the fight have known scenes that. were really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, would you? What's your final score? Oh, uh, I'm gonna bump it up. A hey, okay. To what? <laughs> 8.5 i was wow all right. <laughs> i was about to say i'm gonna give it 8.5 like thinking about it again yeah all right cool because you know I agree. 8.5. I, even though it's like the budget is there the time constraint was there that they did a really good job mm-hmm. in the time that they filmed and released it totally so i gotta kind of remembering those things as we talk about it so yeah 8.5 yeah i'll give it 8.5 too definitely worth checking out I would say give it till at least episode three before you are like, no, nah, I'm not into this. Yeah. Because like for me, well, I was, it was hard for me I, to continue. Right. I, I I wonder how much it is for like people who have never like or don't know about the world. Right. right? Totally. Totally. So like I, I was into it from episode one because I knew the characters. Right. The opening scene made me want to turn it off. I was like, this is so lame. <laughs> but again, 
it's it's one of those like slow and then if you if you take the time i think to, that like, was like it, yeah i think even um you become a fan yeah yeah i think even um i'm not sure if that the guy that we watched that reviews it said the same kind of thing like oh, really? just like just give it some time yeah like it's like a think of it like a long movie or something yeah yeah totally it's, totally, it's all totally. like in one thing yeah yeah you can't give it the first episode and be like because like i i totally didn't. it's the witcher mm-hmm. the witcher's here um <laughs> i totally wasn't like sold yeah right yeah like i was because well if you play the but game you the backstory right? i have so the like backstory like the exactly that i didn't have all that stuff yeah 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 exactly that's why i'm wondering like but overall, but it's, it's been now because really like yeah. now I'm like invested in the characters. So I want to see mm-hmm. season two. Mm-hmm. I want to play the video game. <laughs> I like know. what Netflix because I think this show came out also like as Mandalorian was like coming to an end or something, and then oh they, no way really eh? yeah, and they were like uh, like saying like how Witcher is much oh it's way more popular. It's been Google searched more than Mandalorian. Oh, like, that's funny. Like they're trying to do all these sort of like tricks. <laughs> Like but these I would agree. Stuff. I mean, I, I would agree that. Yeah, know, but also. Time for whichever. Yeah, but uh, right. yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's a good way. The good thing for competition wise, what they're doing. But like, if you look at the actual like facts of how it works, like not everyone has Mandalorian because it's, yeah, like, Disney true, Plus true, not yeah, even out yeah, true, true, worldwide. True, true. <laughs> so true, it makes true. sense. Clever marketing. <laughs> I'm seriously saying yeah. skewing the data. Exactly. I love I love that about statistics. You can just like take the ones you want and you just have to frame it. Yeah, exactly. You if know? you didn't know that Disney Plus is not out in every single country like Netflix is, then yeah, that would yeah, make sense. Totally, totally. <laughs> marketing matters. A framing, framing. Ooh. Um yeah. yeah. All right, so definitely check out Witcher. It's it'll be worth your time. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's really good. Yeah, I I really love the like the timeline thing. I thought that was super cool. Yeah, yeah, that that was a great. See, Mandalorian didn't have that. No, Mandalorian just uh, cycled back to this beginning of where so, it started. Boo! <laughs> oh, plot, uh, spoiler! I didn't watch that yet. So oh, you didn't. I think you said you're on the last episode. Yeah, like the last two, right? Yeah, last two. I can. So basically, he just goes back to the same place where he started. Oh, but not like a not like in the beginning of time, right? Like it's like a no, like you know where he in Mandalorian where he went to, uh, he brought the chips, like where he yeah, got yeah, the thing yeah. to go find Yoda, Baby Yoda, yeah, yeah, and then he came back to the same spot where he ends up fighting against the oh troopers, whatever. Uh, so like the story didn't circle back. It was, well, kind of because he comes back to work with the same guy. No, no, but I mean like. In the timeline, in the world, yeah, yeah, in the timeline, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is this one? The timeline, like timeline, yeah. I, 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 there was complaints by people. I'm like, I didn't think it was. I don't know why people are complaining, but like, like people are like confused, like where it is. But I think that's what you're supposed to be thinking. Yeah, that, totally. I was like uh, that. The one was like, yeah, and I like that is aspect. Up? And you find out it links up, and you're like, oh, uh, yeah. Shocking. When you find out where it links up and how it was linking up, it was like, oh, that was cool. And then it makes you want to watch it again because you're like, what did I miss? Yeah, the first yeah. time yeah. that they were telling me the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know. So like, series was always the normal timeline, and then Witcher, Witcher was, was the past. Yeah. And same thing with the Unfair was the past. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, definitely check it out. All right. Till next time. We we got like uh we gotta call ourselves a witcher over here because demons are just about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, till next time. Yeah. Take it easy. Peace. Bye. Bye.